welcome, it's art vlog number four. I'm gonna be doing art vlogs more often. I am just filming the stuff that I don't normally film and I actually really enjoy it. I really enjoy editing it and I hope you enjoy watching the kind of behind the scenes, a little bit more casual. And I'm uploading twice a week on YouTube now. I'm uploading on Thursday as my main and I'm also doing Sunday as a bit more of a chill kind of videos like time lapses, art vlogs, sketchbook tours, a bit more chatty, a bit more chill on Sunday. Just quickly wanted to mention that. Let's see what I get up to in May. I finished Mermaid. It's really difficult to pick a favourite. I like how, because I don't have the planning on one side, like I do like how there's one on each page. I think that it's really lovely to flip through and see them all. I have a gripe of this sketchbook though, like the way that it's bound together, oh god that's bad, the way that it's bound together there's a gap and like look at it, it just, the next day it all just transferred and there's just something like it on every single page where it's just gone messy. I actually really like how this one went and this one, this took literally about 20 minutes, this is one of my fastest ones, obviously it's got a load of marks there but I do like these two, I think as a double page these are probably the two strongest. And really, I'm quite happy with how it went. I have a lot of thoughts about this sketchbook though. It's the Stillman about Alpha and I got it after I got the beta and everyone was raving about it and it was really expensive so I had high hopes and then I thought it might have been that my hopes were just too high and then I got this one and I think this one's better than the beta. Like, I know that's an unpopular opinion but I think I prefer the Alpha over the beta. I should review it really because I have so many thoughts on both of the sketchbooks but it's not going to be a positive review so I'm kind of putting it off. The challenge itself was difficult. I sort of got in the swing of it towards the end. I think a lot of my mermaids towards the end did get better. My first few mermaids I was just kind of like oh these are these are not good are we really gonna do this for the entire month. I did two on most days and then the only reason I did three on some days is because there's seven days in a week and I wanted the mermaid videos to like end after a full week of prompts. I just thought that'd be a nice stopping point. I also kind of feel like firstly it's an art challenge and secondly what's the point of me spending like like two days on an entire prompt if the next day I'm gonna paint something and it's all gonna transfer because of the paper like it kind of seems pointless I had one of my sketchbooks that <laughs> that was a Stillman and beta as well that was I'll show you literally I just randomly picked it up one day this metallic had stuck to this side and literally ripped the paper off this bit and I was just like it's literally been in a box, like, <laughs> it happens, that's why I do quick pieces in my sketchbooks. At the start of the year I made a 2023 goals video where I said, I want to have less sketchbooks this year. I have more. It kind of works though because it means if I decide like I want to paint this face or this dog, I can paint this dog as many times as I like in as many different styles to try and figure it all out by having like five sketchbooks open at once and then it's like not super boring because it's not in the same sketchbook and it's not like you have to wait for the pages to dry. You can literally just have five sketchbooks open and do a dog in every single one. I've sketched out, I don't know if you can see, I've sketched out eight faces here. I'm going to be trying a load of colours and a load of styles on them. 
them to sort of figure out what I like. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'll be filming this for a video, but I'll check back with you and show you how it went. It's gonna be for an original later on. I couldn't go to the city and not pop into the art shop. The only thing that I actually needed was a small sketchbook and a pencil or something to draw with. We were planning to go to the museum and I didn't bring my sketching supplies and I didn't really know that that's what we were going to do and then I found out that my partner brought his so I needed to get something. I was planning on just getting a cheap art creation sketchbook but really I wanted to spend less than £5 and that was really difficult. I just wanted a super cheap sketchbook under five pounds and it was so hard to try and find one. I was also looking for a really cheap individual pencil and that was pretty impossible too so in the end I ended up going for a polychromos which was virtually the same price as any other just individual graphite pencil. I was scouring every single shelf for a sketchbook in my price range and honestly there was one. I found one below five pound. I'm only doing quick sketches so it just doesn't need to be good paper. I was really surprised by the art gallery, it was so much bigger than I thought and there were so many big artists there that I hadn't expected, I didn't really look into it beforehand, I liked being surprised. We went to the history section and I saw a lot of crystals, honestly look how awesome all of these are. I kind of am thinking of doing a series on my YouTube where I do character design inspired by like certain crystals. Let me know down below if that's something you might be interested in, I just think it could be really fun. Oh, 
hi there it's been a few days please try and ignore my hair i have no clue what's going on i keep attempting to dye it blue and it just comes out like even if it goes blue it just the purple stays in and it goes a little bit green but the blue is just not staying in at all i'm currently having quite a successful time painting i'll show you what i've been up to I'm currently watching a video by Juilliards. It's literally over an hour, so they've been keeping me company. I still desperately need a desk, but this is the setup. This is my art on a cushion from my red bubble, but you know, red bubble's just not it right now. I did these ugly little thumbnails, and then I'm currently working on this piece. I'm not really sure. I'm not loving it at the moment. I don't know exactly what it is. We need a highlight on the eyes and the lips. I'm going to get my partner to look at it when he comes back in a minute and see what else needs to be done. But this is currently the status that it's at. When I left you last, I did some pages in here, didn't I? So I did... had to leave a few pages because, like, this book, it's lovely. But it has these random pages like in the middle of the front cover it's so weird um i did these and these are the little scary faces <laughs> this one is my favorite it looks a lot more pink in real life i don't know why that's so yellow it might be because my body's blocking it i like this primary color one it's really creepy i quite like the blue one too i don't think the others really worked so i went with the pink one and this is all i painted yesterday so if you can see i left the highlight in that one but i had to fill that in with white gel pen but that one is looking a lot better than these ones but still two successful days just gonna try and add the highlight see what more i can do to this one and then that will be done i was just getting ready to film a video when i noticed that this flower had fallen off my bouquet and I feel like I want to try and preserve it but I'm really scared that it might go mouldy. I don't know, I mean the yellow and the white ones are still looking lovely. This has lasted ages, this has been like, I mean the leaves, not so much. This has been like a week and a half I want to say and I mean the yellow ones look as good as when they started so I don't really want to touch them if they're still nice. Possibly like the purple ones are maybe drying up, maybe I could do one of those as well. Okay I have like um just a flyer and then I've got a tissue and a tissue and I really don't know what I'm doing but I'm just gonna like gently pop this on there it's i know it looks a little bit dead i just feel like it's a waste to just kind of throw it in the bin and i don't really want to do that so i'm gonna try giving this a go this one here is already like dying a tiny bit so i might also grab uh some of this purple one that i like okay so we've got I have no clue if this is gonna work. I watched a YouTube video and I'm kind of hoping for the best. I can't make sure that I put everything in the right place though. Let's give this a go. I don't know, what have I got to lose, you know? Let's just give it a try. But this is the situation. I'm gonna leave it for like a week and then check, maybe check a little bit before just in case it's a bit moldy. Look how pretty these paints that I've finally opened are literally like they're these pearl colours and I painted this <laughs> page with them and I don't know when the video is going to be out, probably not for a while. I used only these and it was so difficult. Hiya, it's Editing Chantal here and I think I'm going to have to end this art vlog here. I'm currently on 16 minutes and there's like an hour of footage left. If you want to see me finish off the Stillman & Burn sketchbook, make sure you're subscribed for the next art vlog and I'll see you on Thursday for a new video. Bye!